everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use keyframe interpolations and change the easing type in Blender. So, to change the keyframe interpolation, go to the timeline and press T on the keyboard. And here you can see different keyframe interpolation and also to change the easing type go to timeline and press ctrl and e and here you can see set keyframe easing type menu here we have automatic easing is in, is out, and is in and out. So first, let's talk about keyframe interpolations. So by default, the keyframe interpolation is set to Bezier. That means if you open up a graph editor, you can see that you get a Bezier curve which you can edit its size and all other settings of it. Now, let's check out other keyframe interpolations. So, to change the keyframe interpolation, select the first keyframe of any motion. So here I have the first keyframe selected, T on the keyboard, and here we have constant, linear, and busier in the interpolation section. So let's see what constant is. So if you use constant, you can see that we get two poses. The first pose is the pose of the first keyframe, and the second one is the pose of the second keyframe. Now, let's see what linear is. In linear, you can see that the pose changes the exact amount it changes the last time. So like if it changed from frame 10 to 11, this amount, you can see that it goes from frame 11 to 12, the same amount. To understand it better, select the object, go to Object Properties, Motion Path, and Calculate. And here you can see.
Next. We have all these. Let's choose exponential. And you can see that it starts slow and ends up fast. So press Ctrl and E in the timeline. You can see that you have ease in, ease out, and ease in and out. By default, it's automatic easing. But now let's choose ease in and out. And you can see that it starts slowly. In the middle, it's fast. And at the end, it's slow. So you can see how it is here. Next, we have dynamic effect. First we have back which you can see that it goes back a bit then goes a bit above this pose and then gets to the right position. Next we have bounce which looks like a ball bouncing though for it to look better control on E automatic easing and you can see that it looks like a ball bouncing lastly we have elastic which looks like this and this is it thanks for watching this video goodbye